mast cells, we have a small amount of ATP, which lasts one to two contractions. When we exercise, we use our ATP. <laughs> oh. Oh. Yeah. energy system is to rejoin the ADP to the P. <laughs> to create ADP. Phosphocreatin system lasts 8 to 10 seconds. It's a short duration. It's high intensity. And Usain Bolt runs 100 meters in just over 9 seconds. He uses this system. This is the phosphocreatin system, and in the cell you have the <coughs> phosphocreatin and you have the adenine diphosphate. The phosphocreatin splits to release energy, which then provides the energy to replenish the ADP with the spare phosphate to create ATP. Example of the PC system in action. The skeleton, and today we're going to talk about anaerobic glycolysis. Anaerobic glycolysis occurs during high intensity activity that lasts for longer than 8 to 10 seconds. Glycogen is broken down by enzyme activity into pyruvic acid. Woo, yeah. Yeah. Enzymes then break down this into lactic acid. Woo, enzymes. Yeah. In this process, two ATP are produced from one molecule of glucose. <laughs> <laughs> this occurs in the sarcoplasm. Lactic acid is a negative byproduct. It causes muscle fatigue in jelly legs. We have one of our performers here in, with massive lactic acid buildup. Therefore, he has gone into the fetal position. What he should now do is get up and run and try to jog around to disperse this lactic acid. <laughs> is that it? Now it's time to say goodbye to Sunny the skeleton. This is my sister Sully, and today we're going to talk about aerobic glycolysis. Over to you. Right, firstly, glycogen and glucose are mixed together and broken down into glucose 6 phosphate. This glucose 6 phosphate is then broken down into pyruvic acid, but during this breakdown, two ATP molecules are released. Finally, pyruvic acid is then broken down into acetyl coenzyme A. As there is oxygen available. So, acetyl coenzyme A then goes into the Krebs cycle. And then again, I'm going to pass it to my system. So, acetyl, acetyl coenzyme A is then filtered into the Krebs cycle. And then, firstly, it is converted into citric acid. This then releases carbon dioxide and two ACP molecules. It then carries on in the cycle, which releases hydrogen ions and electrons. This keeps going around to produce oxalicetic acid, and then follows on, and the process keeps going around, releasing these ACP, carbon dioxide, hydrogen ions, and electrons. 
the electron transport chain. The hydrogen and electrons from the Krebs cycle is then transported into the electron transport chain. 34 ATP molecules are produced and water is a byproduct of this. Fats. Fats are, are also a key aspect in the aerobic system. Firstly, uh, as well as gly glucose and glycogen, fats feed into this, feed into the Krebs cycle. Fats are converted by beta oxidation into e e e <laughs> acetylcholines on A, <laughs> which then allows it to feed straight back into the Krebs cycle to make more and more ATP. Decision now